Mr. Speaker, today the House of Representatives meets to give final approval to the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act and send it to President Obama for his signature. What a difference a new Congress and a president make. Non-discrimination in the workplace must be a sacred American principle. Workers should be paid based upon their merit, not, not on an employer's prejudices. Yet more than 40 years after the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Supreme Court dramatically turned back the clock on this bedrock principle. Instead of abiding by decades of long-standing law, a narrow majority of the Supreme Court decided to commit legal jiu-jitsu to satisfy a narrow ideological agenda. The Supreme Court simply told bad employers that to, escape, uh, to escape, escape responsibility for pay discrimination, all they need to do was keep it hidden for the first 180 days. The Ledbetter ruling has already dramatically impacted how Americans can remedy discrimination. It has been cited in hundreds of cases over the past 19 months since the ruling. Not only have pay discrimination cases been adversely impacted, but even fair housing protections and, and Title IX complaints. The Supreme Court sent these lower courts back backwards down the wrong path and today the, the, the Congress will correct the course Mr. that Speaker, course the by, House by, by, by passing this bill. The Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act would simply reset the law as businesses, most courts, employers and employees and the EEOC had understood it before the court's 2007 ruling. Under S-181, every paycheck or other compensation resulting in whole or part from an early discriminatory pay decision or other practice would constitute a violation of Title VII. In other words, if an employer keeps issuing discriminatory paychecks, that employer will keep restarting the clock for filing charges. That's only fair. As long as workers file their charges, as Lily Ledbetter herself did, within 180 days of, the, of a discriminatory paycheck, the charges will be considered timely. The legislation also clarifies that an employee is entitled to up to two years back pay as provided in the Title VII already. Finally, S-187 ensures that these simple reforms extend to the Age Discrimination in Employment Act, the Americans with Disability Act, and the Rehabilitation Act to provide these same protections for victims of age and disability discrimination. Correcting pay discrimination poses significant challenges to, to workers made all the harder with the Supreme Court's Ledbetter decision. This is the best illustration illustrated by Lily Ledbetter's own words from the Education Labor Committee hearings in 2007. What happened to me is not only an insult to my dignity, but it had real consequences for my ability to care for my family. Every paycheck I received got less, got less than what I was entitled to under the law. The Supreme Court said that this didn't count as illegal discrimination, but it sure feels like discrimination when you are on the receiving end of a smaller paycheck and trying to support your family with less money than men are getting for doing the same job. And according to the court, if you don't figure things out right away, the company can treat you like a second-class citizen for the rest of your career. This isn't right. I agree with Lily Ledbetter. What happened to her wasn't right. Unfortunately, it's too late for Lily Ledbetter to receive justice. But today, thanks to Lily's incredible courage and perseverance, and thank you to millions of Americans for making their voices heard, Congress will reject the, this ruling, and for, mil for millions of Americans suddenly now subject to legal discrimination. The Ledbetter and Goodyear Supreme Court decision ruling was a painful step backwards for civil rights in this country. Today, the House will correct this injustice and send President Obama his first bill to sign into law. All victims of discrimination are entitled to justice, and I urge my colleagues to support the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, and I reserve the balance General of my time. General California reserves the balance of his time.